continue in the word to go deeper in the word john chapter 8 verses 31 and 32 then jesus said to those jews who believed in him if you abide in my word you are my disciples indeed and you will know the truth and the truth shall make you free jesus told the jews saying you need to abide in my word a very important truth for you and me as we desire to go deeper in the word we need to abide to abide means to continue uh, it, it, it implies a consistent ongoing process an act, ongoing action to dwell in that word and as we continue in the word he said you know that's a mark of my disciple every disciple of mine will abide in my word, will continue in my word. But then the continuing in the word results in something. He says, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So here's something very interesting. It's not just hearing the word, but it's continuing in the word that brings us to a place of knowing the truth. Sometimes we hear and we don't pay attention and it, we just dissipates. We forget what we've heard. But when we continue in that word, we hear it again. You dwell in it. You abide in it. You continue in, in engaging with that word. Then what happens? You come to know the truth. The truth begins to be opened up to you and, that, and, and your heart gets a grip on the truth. And it's that truth that you personally know that, that begins to seep and sink into your heart. It's that truth that <clears throat> that brings about change, that transforms us, that sets us free, that begins to affect us. So it's so important to continue in the truth, continue in the word, so that we know the truth, we know the word of God, and that word will transform our lives. In order to go deeper in the word, continue in the word. The things that you've heard, go back to it, hear it again. You know, we take the, many times we take the wrong attitude saying, well, I've heard it already, I already know it. Well, just because you heard it doesn't mean you know it. You've got to continue in it so that you come to know it personally. That's alive in you. And that's the word that transforms your life. So go back to the things you've heard. Revisit them. Uh, look up those scriptures once again. Go back and meditate in it. And as you continue in the word, you will know that word will become alive to you and that word will transform your life. Continue in God's word to go deeper in his word. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us to continue in your word so that we will know the truth and that truth will transform our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.